Hi guys, this is the video number 11 in the end of this series of videos and we are going to see how to create a standalone a file in order to distribute it to the final users. We will have now the binary, the final binary, the executable for each platform. Using only this command we will, uh, we will construct or we will build, compile uh, each of them of them files so here I have my virtual machine running in macOS so what I need to do is to go to a terminal and go to the pad where I have my script which is desktop then hit enter and I'm going to list and as you can see in here I have my script and all I need to do is to use this command but uh, as you can see I'm adding an icon here and I don't have this icon right over here so I'm going to copy from this folder here I have it okay as you can see here I have the file which I mentioned here just I need to change the the name and next okay that's it so I'm ready to to run this command I just have to hit enter and it is working and as you can see here are some some new files and we need another another folder here which is being created and we need to wait till the pi installer finish working okay it's done now we can close this this window and as you can see here is the this folder is the one that that is the most important because here we have the final app to distribute as you can see if i click i double click this app uh, the application comes up and as you can see it's a full compatible Mac application and we can just copy this this file only this not this one only this the one that has the icon uh, we can only give to another user and it will run uh, without any problem so that's it for this video I have showed you how to um, to distribute uh, a cross-platform application in macOS. Now let's see how does it works in Ubuntu and Windows. Okay, see you in the next video.